Okay, what about now? <laughs> I even switched computers. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, there's a thumbs up. That means yes. And there's no echo, right? <laughs> okay, perfect. I actually changed my setup um, so that um, I don't have to have multiple devices uh, running at the same time. Uh, my son told me that my quality of video was being deteriorated because I had a laptop for the software and then I had an iPad for an, uh, comments on one and an iPad for comments on another one. So anyway, um, now I just have um, my iMac right in front of me and it's doing everything. So I think I've got the settings perfect now, hopefully. So good evening, everyone. Happy Monday. Okay, wait, there is an echo or there's not an echo? Um, wait. Is there an echo? Somebody says there is. The sound is off again? No echo. Okay, so on Facebook they said, okay, now I'm really confused because, well, y'all are clearly hearing me because there's no echo, but then there are some people that still say and there's no sound. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it seems like I've just started doing this, right? So sorry. Um, someone asked that I have a good Christmas. I did. Um, it was very different from normal Christmases, but it was all good. And my family was here and that was perfect. Yeah. So we had a great Christmas. Thank you for asking. I am about to take off for a few days though. Um, yeah. So Wednesday's uh, Facebook Live will not be happening. I'm going to be working tomorrow and then scooting out of here on Wednesday. So I'll be back next Monday um, for our normally scheduled time. So that's not too bad to just miss one event during uh, the holidays. Yeah. Okay, so happy Monday, December 27th. Um, housekeeping notes. Uh, bingo is January 8th. We're using the um, nuts and bolts and the sweet conversation stamp set. She's okay, Brookie. I'll, I'll yell at you if she needs to go out. So these are the stamp sets. Uh, designer series paper shares. You guys will be getting the link to pay for those tomorrow. And uh, there's my host code. Okay, so that's all my housekeeping notes. This is the project that we're making tonight. So I decided to go ahead and start showing you guys the project that we're making at the beginning of my video, like I do my pre-recorded ones. So that way, if you like what you're seeing, then you're gonna stick around and watch me make it. And if you don't, then that's okay. <laughs> anyway, so yes, th this is what we're making, and this is the nuts and bolts, and then this is the um, catch you later stamp set, which I love. So everything is in the new catalog that launches on January 4th. So let me give you the measurements. We're going to slide this over here. And I love, love, love the Valentine paper this year. So this is the Sweet Talk designer series paper. This measures six by six. And then we have basic white, of course, for stamping. I've gone ahead and cut out a tag, so we're using two different patterns of the Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. And I cut this out with the tailor-made tags. And then I have our Blushing Bride Scallop Circle that is behind here. I'm not sure that you can see it. Okay, so we're going to stamp first. I'm using Memento ink. Let me go ahead and get these pieces out of here so I don't mess them up. Okay. 
Miss Bella, they can hear you walking around, honey. <laughs> she's, you know what she's doing? She's looking for something to eat. Oh, bless you. She likes eating paper. Uh-oh, did I rock it? No, I did not. So I'm taking the mini, the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I am using a, a one and a two, and we're going to cut that one out first. Okay, so do y'all remember um, last week when I told y'all that I was going to get my booster? Oh, this might not work on my, on my um... <laughs> I always tell y'all how to use this and then I don't do it myself. Hold on. So remember last week I told y'all I was going to get my booster shot after my live video. That was on um, Wednesday. So uh, after my shot, I developed a big, huge knot on my arm. It was red. It was the size of a, okay, come on. Okay, you know what? I don't, I need to move my turntable, but let's just make things easy. I cheated with, with the magic of television. I have already got these cut out. Now we're ready to color. I knew I was gonna have trouble tonight. And I'm not moving my pink board. I like it. It makes me happy. Um, okay, so the markers that we're using is Smoky Slate. There is a hair somewhere. There it is. Um, Smoky Slate, <laughs> Highland Heather. Hmm. Uh, that one's not supposed to be here. And Flirty Flamingo. Okay, so that is what we're using. And I'm going to start with the Flirty Flamingo. Oh, so back to my story. So I have had, I've not been able to use my left arm hardly at all. It has hurt so bad. I know I probably shouldn't be sharing this because then it's gonna, Brookie, can you take Roo Roo out? <laughs> she knew that was gonna happen. Um, yeah, I'm using the wrong tip. So I, I have had a reaction. Um, yeah, I've had a reaction. And um, yesterday, it's been hurting so bad. I've been boohooing and taking pictures and sending it to my family and asking what I should do. And then it started hurting under my arm. So not just where they gave me the shot, but but underneath my arm. So I, I y'all already know I have zero pain tolerance. I mean like zero. And, um, Yesterday, last night, I was in our storage area getting something, and I knocked the laminator off, and it landed it, it landed right on my big toe. And, of course, I scream and cried and scream and cried for, like, forever. <laughs> and I told David, I, I called him, I said, well, there's nothing like having new pain to make you get over your existing pain. So now, so I had to sit on the recliner with an ice pack on my big toe. I hope I don't lose my toenail. That would be so awful. Anyway, that's my story. It's always something. Always something. But I told y'all, I have like two left feet. I am such a klutz. Although that has nothing to do with the vaccination. I don't know why I had a reaction. It's still red. It's still, it's bigger than a silver dollar. And it still hurts. But now my toe hurts. <laughs> My toe hurts a lot more worse. Okay, so this one is done. And now we're gonna color the little robot. So I'm using the light flirty flamingo on the heart. Yeah, so remember the project that I made last uh, Wednesday, I said I was gonna get it on my blog. I did not get it on there until today. Um, I didn't, I don't, I don't think I really, 
is on there? Oh, a glue dot. I was looking at that. I was like, what in the world? Um, yeah, I, I did not, I didn't expect to have a reaction like that. I mean, the second vaccination I had, like a gorilla punched me in the arm. It was sore, but I didn't have like a big, I didn't have like a big red knot and yeah, anywho. And I know a bunch of y'all, I asked y'all if y'all had any reactions and some of y'all said y'all didn't, but your husbands did. But man, I was, I was pretty much toast. I was tired and my arm hurt. And if any of you are considering getting it, I've scared you off. So sorry. But I'm alive. <laughs> and now what can I talk about? Let's go back to stamping, right? Um, so David and I got a new mattress for Christmas. And we got um, one of those Roombas. Is that what it's called? The robotic vacuum cleaner. We haven't taken it out of the box yet. I don't really know what how to use it. It's, it's going to require um, reading the manual, and I don't really like reading the manual. So, <laughs> isn't it cute? Okay, so we're done coloring. Now we're going to take these and do some liquid glue. Okay, so Kathy said she had a knot for six days. Okay, that makes me feel better. Did it hurt under your arm also? Okay, I'm not the only one. Yay, I'm glad I mentioned it then. Oops, I just spit. Um, yeah, I'm glad I said something. Now I feel better. I, I kept sending my pitch my my sister pictures of my arm. I'm like, it's getting worse. It started out like, I don't know, a little bit smaller than a quarter. And then when it was all said and done, it was bigger than a silver dollar. I was getting really worried. In fact, I have to go get some blood work done tomorrow. I was going to actually mention it to my doctor. Okay, so that part's done. Now we need to do the greeting. And I'm going to use some more basic white I almost said whisper white I'm gonna use basic white and so the happy Valentine's Day is in the sweet conversations I'm gonna tell you the the main part of this stamp set that I'm using on everything really is the greetings not that I don't like the hearts but the dies cut out the hearts in the paper I think y'all saw that. Mm, no, maybe I haven't shown that yet. Rewind. Let's pretend I didn't say that. I think I'm confusing it with a with a, a project that I've made for an exclusive tutorial, <laughs> which y'all will see eventually. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Down here at the bottom. And then let me get my little teeny tiny trimmer. And then we're going to stamp it again. Okay, now we got to cut that one. I could maybe whack off a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, now. That one's not as thin, but it'll be okay. Now I'm going to take my scissors and separate the words. So... This one is trash. This one is trash. This one I didn't trim enough, so I'm going to have to trim it a little bit more, I think. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, it needs to be trimmed. It doesn't have to be perfect, even though we try, right? Now we're gonna put mini dimensionals on all of those. Oh my gosh, Harriet says that she has the Roomba um, running three hours each day. Seriously? Three hours? I couldn't take the noise. I have sensory issues. I couldn't take three hours of noise. I'm pretty sure it makes the noise, right? Yeah, I would have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Maybe that's too much information. I changed to a panda face tonight for y'all. I almost did the unicorn, but I decided that the panda face would be really cute. My son, uh, Chase, built my daughter a new gaming computer. Um, her thing was like, I don't know, older than 10 years. It was really bad. And graphic, graphic cards uh, have been very difficult to get, but we managed to get one a few months ago. It cost an arm and a leg, but we got it. And um, yeah, so yesterday, I think it took him six hours. He built Brookie a new computer. Isn't that so nice? Okay, we're going to add Valentine's first so that we get it where we want it. We get the other two. Does that make sense? Okay, this one's going here. And then we're going to add Day next. You started at 5... Oh, she starts hers at 5.30. Oh, I, I, that's probably a little too early for me. I don't... I'm not much of a morning person. I used to say that I was, but I'm actually not. Although I, I don't really... I have a hard time sleeping now. Raise your hand if you're like me. I tell everyone, it's like, okay, when my kids were little, I couldn't... I wanted to sleep in, but I couldn't sleep in because I had to get up with the kiddos. Now that I don't have to get up with the kiddos, I could sleep as late as I want. I mean, I do have to work, but I can set my own hours. And um, now I can't sleep for nothing. <laughs> well, there's something wrong with that, isn't it? Like, geez, oh, Pete's, I just want to sleep. Yeah, today I woke up at 6 and I was like, okay, do I lay here for another hour and toss and turn? Or do I just get up? I finally got up about 6.30. I gave up. Okay, now, rut row, I put the dimension on the wrong spot. There we go. It comes off real easy. So we have our images that are ready for our box. Now, for this box, you want to make sure that you place your paper where I'm going to show you so that you um, don't have an upside down... I, I did it earlier. Where is it? I was going to show you my first one that I made. I, my words were upside down. So I'm going to show you how to make sure you don't have upside down words. Okay. <laughs> and I'm looking for my cheat sheet too, because I'm like, oh, where is it? Okay. I found it. So you want to turn this so that the writing is up at the top. Does that make sense? You know, not like this, like this. So the words are up here and you're going to score it at one and a half. This is your top of your box. So one and a half. And then <laughs> I'm looking and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I have two different notes. And then five. Okay? Then you're going to score it on this side with the writing up here at one inch, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five and a half. Do y'all hear the birds? 
And while we have the Simply Scored Scoring tool, let's go ahead and score our little tag. This is gonna get scored at one and three quarters and two inches. Yes, Elvis and Gizmo are in the building. I'm looking at my video and y'all tell me, is the is the quality really fuzzy? I'm looking at it and it's like, oh goodness gracious, it looks like it's super fuzzy. I even made Brookie get off the internet and I turned all my other devices off so that the quality would be okay. And then now let's fold this one on the score lines. Let's make sure that's straight though. Okay, now we're gonna get our scissors. Don't forget this up here is the top, so it's bigger. You would might think that that would be the bottom of our box, but this is the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna remove this section right here. So the um, nuts and bolts and the sweet conversation is the stamp set that we're using for bingo. Bingo number nine. And, um, and this Sweet Talk designer series paper and this ribbon and these embellishments. But this is not one of the projects we're making. This is a, what is this? I, I never know what to call this. It's kind of like, um, it's a project to show you the possibilities of the product we're gonna be using in Bingo. Like a marketing thing. Okay, so I've put tear and tape on there. And then I'm just gonna remove the backing and then fold this over. Okay, so that is the back. That makes this the front. This time I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus. Okay, so you're gonna squeeze this like that, okay? Now, how tall is this? It is three and a half inches by one inch. So this would be too big. Now what we're gonna do is take this piece here and we're going to attach it on the back. So it's gonna be like that, okay? So I'm just gonna put some liquid glue there I need to clean that off. And you wanna make sure you have it on straight before it dries. Um, my sample one was not straight. <laughs> and I let it dry crooked. Okay, that's how it looks. See? Isn't that neat? I better hold it for another few seconds. Kathy says a preview of product. Yes, that's it. Now we're gonna get the ribbon. Uh, Chris said she didn't get her catalog yet. I had a bunch of people uh, message me today and said that they got it today. So let's keep our fingers crossed that you get it today. You should. I know, I mean, I can't even tell you how many people uh, contacted me. I've kind of been asking to let me know because I know this time of year, the mail, oh my gosh, is crazy. It's really crazy. 
Um, although I have to say that my new mail, mail lady has been lovely. She's been picking up our mail, but of course she doesn't deliver it to y'all. <laughs> but, okay, so I'm going to thread this through this hole here. Yeah, I hope we get to keep this mail lady. It's like every time we get someone, they, they, they go away. They go somewhere. I don't know where they go, and I don't know why they leave, but they do. I mean, I've only been in this house a year, and I think we've had five, five different people. Um, if you'll send me an email, I do have a form on my website you can fill out to request a catalog, or you can just send me an email with your address. Okay, I'm going to try to not look at comments and try to get this bow tied. Bella, honey, that's not a very good bow. She is on the move tonight. Listen to her. Brookie, maybe you should take her in there with you. <laughs> she is a high-maintenance dog. Like two days ago, she hardly got up from the bean bag, and I was getting worried. I was like, oh, my gosh, what's wrong with Bella? Um, the day that Chase was building the computer, and then now today, was that? Yeah, that was just yesterday. Gosh, it seems like it was like three days ago. I was worried. I was like, Bella's just laying around. Well, she had somebody to watch, so she just laid around watching them. Okay, so there's that. And then we can put this one. Which one do y'all want me to put on? Do you want me to put this one on here? Or do you want... Wait, we got to get our embellishments. Tell me which one you want. Um, okay, where's my embellishments? The iridescent rhinestones you want the kitty cat yeah since we already have one with the robot we'll just do the the kitty you're gonna like these iridescent rhinestones i'm just saying they're cute they're pretty not cute pretty yeah they're pretty So to add this to the box, what we're going to do is use a regular dimensional and we're going to put it on the box instead of on this piece because, um, oh, I forgot to add it to that one. That's okay though. So we're going to put our dimensionals on one on the left and one on the right, right there. Okay, what do you think? Cute, right? Yes, everything that I used tonight, with the exception of adhesive, is new. So the iridescent uh, rhinestones are new. Well, actually not the dyes, you know, the tailor-made um, tailor-made tag dyes is not new that's the topper for this um and the layering circles dies are not new but the stamp sets are new the ribbon is new um yeah so tomorrow i'm going to work on getting the inspiration sheet for this uh posted on my website i did finally get hold on one second the um, printable for this project was finally posted on my blog today, like an hour ago. So you can finally print that. So I'm going to work on getting this one uh, for you tomorrow. Thank you. I love it. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna look for questions now. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can use the comment section. If you did not get a catalog and you are a customer of mine, uh, let me know if you don't get it by tomorrow and I'll, I'll send you another one. Um, 
Stephanie asked you if the Viking set would fit on this. I didn't get the Viking set. I just wasn't sure that I would use it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but you could probably, I think, I want to say that the Viking set was a little bit, um, the images were bigger. So Kathleen asked about my turntable. This is a Sue Daly uh, rotary cutting mat. Yeah. So it's for cutting fabric. So, you know, when you're cutting fabric, you don't want to lift your fabric up because anytime you pick it up, you're just not going to get it straight again. So when I'm cutting like um, layer cakes and charm packs, it's nice to do a cut and then turn and cut and turn. But I, I love using it to create my projects too. So yeah. Um, it's it's Sue Daly, and I can give you the link to it if you would like. I have, this is the 16 inch, and I have uh, the 10 inch as well. Yeah, so this one's for the minis. <laughs> yeah, I, lo I love gadgets. Okay, let's see. Uh, the catalog that we're talking about is the mini catalog that's going live on uh, January 4th and so that's this catalog here I can show you the cover I can't show you what's inside so yeah this is the catalog January 4th it's gonna um, go live and we can order all of this stuff okay I answered that one um, I answered that one oh don't forget also uh, I want to remind you guys some of you arrived late um, that I will not be here on Wednesday. And you're going to get your link to pay for paper shares tomorrow. So if you reserved a paper share, I'm sending the uh, link to pay tomorrow. We're not allowed uh, to take money for the paper shares or any product until seven days before the catalog launches. So it's seven days tomorrow. And um, I can officially uh, take your money for the paper shares. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, so there's another person that got their catalog today. You're very welcome. Oh, yeah, you could put Wink Estella in here in the fishbowl. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to look over on YouTube really quick and see if there's any questions that I missed over there. Thank you guys so much. So Sheila said she made the money holder. She made four of the money holders. I could tell that people were watching that video that had quite a few uh, views compared to some of the other projects. Uh, Kathy says she's still waiting on Paper Pumpkin. You are not the only one, Kathy. I normally get two Paper Pumpkin kits each month. I've only gotten one, so I don't know where the other one is, but it's somewhere out there. Hopefully, I'll get it soon. Okay, so Kathy says it is a, that it's not fuzzy where she's at, so that's good. Hmm. Karen says that big mattress sales are usually in January. <laughs> I know, you're right, probably so, um, but that's okay. I haven't been sleeping, so we were, we were thinking that it was the mattress. We'll do anything for sleep, right? Okay, any last minute questions? Oh, when is bingo? January 8th at 2 p.m. And we're making uh, four projects using the Sweet Conversations and the Nuts and Bolts. So the Nuts and Bolts. Um, someone asked the other day, can we use the robots for adults? We all said, absolutely, adults. Yeah, everyone likes them, right? Okay, what time is it? Oh, I only went over just a little teeny tiny bit. Um, okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off. If you guys need anything, let me know. Like I said, I will be away from my computer uh, for a few days. I'm going to be actually sewing. I'm going to be making the bingo fabric baskets. Um, yeah, I like to rest and recover um, by sewing. 
That doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, when is the deadline for bingo? It is going to be next Tuesday. The Is that the third? Let me look. Where's the calendar? Um, uh, actually, yeah, because I have to order the product on the 4th. So the deadline is going to be on the 3rd. That's Monday. So the deadline to register is Monday. Yeah. I haven't really put it out there because I, um, I was kind of toying going back and forth about what to do. Okay, Trisha, I'll give you the link to it. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, Paper Pumpkin is perfect for new crafters. And it's perfect for people that don't want to buy a whole lot of stuff. Like, once you make your stuff, then you can get rid of the box and all of that. You keep the stamp set, though, in the little um, teeny tiny stamping spot. <laughs> all of a sudden, I couldn't... Um, couldn't remember the name of them. Oh, yeah, so Happy New Year. I won't actually be talking to y'all until the, oh, my gosh, yeah. It, I'm actually ready for the new year. I don't know about y'all, but I'm done with 21 anyway. I had some great things happen this year, but also some really not so great. So, yes, I'm ready for 2022. That'll be hard to say, right? 2022. Okay, y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for joining me.